Welcome back to another video here. Try guy 48 here. And my last video was Fortnite. Um, I just tried to change it up a little bit and stuff like that. But today we're gonna get back to the stuff. You know, normally we do hockey stuff. Today we're gonna do my prediction for the Coca Cola 600 set Sunday night. I am gonna personally watch it myself. Uh, probably doesn't get over until like 11:30, 12. And I have school Monday, but anyways, because I don't live in the States, and they have a day off. That's why the race is on Sunday night, I'm just saying. But, we're just going to get into the predictions. We're going to go through the my top three picks that are going to run really well in the Coke 600. The top underdogs, which are probably going to run top 10 most of the race, top 15 most of the race, you know. That have a content to run, or might have a shot at running top 10. <sighs> Biggest disappointment would be who is a good driver and they are expected to do a lot more that they're going to do this weekend. And my pick, who I think is going to run the race. That is in order of what I'm going to do. We're going to top it off with the top three. Number one, my top three. These are not in order, by the way. You just I just picked three drivers that I think are going to do really well today. So, at number one, we have Kyle Larson. He came off. He probably could have won the All-Star Race. If Joe Bigano did not spin him, he could have won that All-Star Race. But, since Logano spun him, I think he's kind of brushed that off his shoulders and forgot about it. And I, that's that's a good. That's what a good driver does. They don't remember about it. That's what I would do. I would just, even though he spun me, it's not a point race. It doesn't really matter. Still, you know. And I think he's going to come out stronger than he has ever. He should have won. Um, he should have He should have won Kansas. He really should have. He dominated that race. It was one of those races. Yeah, he dominated Kansas. He should have won that one. He really should have. But anyway. Number two, Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr., if you look at his stats from last year, his mile and a half, he won... Seven. No. That's how many wins he had last year. He won six mile and a half. And you race like like fourteen to fifteen mile and a half. Like it's insane what he did. But anyways. Yeah, Martin Drex is gonna do really well. <clears throat> he only has one win this year. Surprising. A lot of people thought he was gonna carry the momentum in. So this year, and that's all what I thought he was going to do as well. But, that has not happened, and I think you're running extremely well. Ow, that was my finger that just cracked. You did not hear that. Number three is Kevin Harvick. How can you not put him on this list? He's won the last three races. Four, and if you include the All-Star race. No, three if you include the All-Star race. Two if you don't. But I'm not going to be too surprised if he runs top 5, top 3, leads the race consistently. As he is dominant on mile and a half this year. So, <clears throat> which one of those do you think will be my pick? Anyways, let's go to the next segment. Segment 2, the underdogs. We have two for the underdogs and two for the biggest disappointment. So the first underdog, AJ Allmendinger. AJ Allmendinger surprisingly won, ran extremely well in the All Star race, and he he got he that team got me thinking. If he ran that good in the All Star race, he's gonna run extremely well in the Coke Six Hundred, and that's why I put him under. I didn't think he would be make the top three because he's just not there. He has, he's only won one race in his career, unlike the other three, the top three up there, Kyle Larson, Mark Truex, Kevin Harvick. But, um, you know, Almendinger's an underdog week in, week out at a road course. He would probably be one of the top three picks, to be honest. And he also won the third stage of that all-star open so congrats to him and he made it into the all-star race he really deserves it i didn't think he deserved it at the start of the year how he was running and stuff like that but 
he deserved his way in. He really pushed it. Anyway, let's go on to my second underdog, Alex Bowman. Alex Bowman won the first stage of the All-Star race. I thought Eric Amarola would beat the crap out of everybody. That did not happen. He didn't even make it in the All-Star race. Like, surprise, surprise. Man, if all if Eric Amarola would have made it into the All-Star race, he would have done pretty well. He's, I don't know how he didn't make it into the All-Star race. Well, I know why he didn't make it into the All-Star race, because he didn't do well last year. But, what the heck is that? Is the line out there? One minute. Anyways. Um, <clears throat> Alex Bowman ran extremely well. And, yeah. And the reason why Eric Amarola did not make it is because he ran trash last year. So it was a bad team and all that stuff. But, yeah. That's why. Let's go to our biggest disappointment. Um, by the way, this is, I hope, I'm just using double E, Ed's idea, if you do, uh, well, if you do, like, NASCAR, and stuff like that, he's a great YouTuber to go check out, there's a lot of them, but, yeah, just anyways, okay, be back, well, where were you, biggest disappointment is starting, <laughs> Number one, I have for his biggest disappointment, Denny Hamlin. He's now been running where he's been wanting to run. Series and run it. I have not heard about Denny Hamlin since last year. I'm just saying. I don't have anything else to say about Denny Hamlin. He just, I have not heard of him. And he's, I can never find him on standing because he's always rest. But, next we have William Byron. He's been running 20th, 25th all season long. Not good, boy. I can drop this pen and you still won't straight. Exactly. William Byron is going like this. He started the year and he's going just a little bad, a bad finish, good finish, okay finish, bad finish, terrible finish. I don't know where this guy's going. Again, he's only 19, but still, come on, dude. The one you've been waiting for. Drum roll, please. Oh, a minute. Drum roll, please. My pick for the day will be Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson's just too okay at this moment. He should have won the All-Star race. He said he's bad at mile and a half. Trust your instinct. Trust your instincts, kid. You're not. You're you're great at mile and a half. Yeah, that's, that's about it. That's all I wanted to really say. Yeah, bye.